Hey folks, how you doing today? This is uh, Ron Shawley here for Stingray. Um, Stingray made by Marine Dynamics and a lot of you are aware of Stingray. They've been around for uh, more than 20 years now. Today we're going to take a look, a closer look at how the Stingray Junior, the XP1 Junior, how it works on a um, more common bass boat. It's kind of dirty, I gotta clean it up today, but bass boat. Uh, this is our John boat if you want to call it that. Flat bottom. And what's interesting, in the past, uh, about four years ago, I got a uh, the Mercury 15 for it. And, uh, and I do appreciate it. I'm not here to badmouth nobody, but um, we're just gonna be comparing apples for apples, okay? But the Atwood Corporation, they have their version of a hydrofoil. Now understand, um, this is the hydrofoil on the motor from Atwood. It is a plastic composite, um, uh, pretty much the same fin that bolt onto the anoid cover. Um, and what I've noticed, and I never really thought about it, well I called a friend of mine who's a a uh, doctor, a uh, physicist, okay, and when I asked him, I said, well, apples for apples, okay, in your opinion, what, if anything, will put a boat up on plane? He said a hydrofoil, but he said the hydrofoil has got to be aer aerodynamic in nature, uh, comparable to an airplane wing, okay, he said with some modifications, and he absolutely uh, agrees that Stingray, by far, is the best designed hydrofoil out on the market today. Some of the things I just noticed, um, common sense, okay? If you look at the hydrofoil from Atwood that's now mod to my, my 15 horsepower here, look, look at the, uh, the angle of the fins, okay? The hydrofoil itself the fins are extending in a vertical direction. Now, I'm asking myself, why would that be? Okay, if I wanted the, um, the hydrofoil to capture more water pressure, wouldn't the fins be more horizontal to the uh, motor uh, instead of being angled upward? The also, of the hydrofoil fin here from Atwood, it has a bevel that faces downward. Now, this is definitely going to cause resistance because the wind from the propeller coming up upward, hitting the fin, going out on an angle, and then hitting that downward lip, all right? That is absolutely resistance uh, that's being created, and in effect, it's actually going to be slowing me down. We're going to be installing, well, first of all, I'm going to take the boat out later, um, and I'm going to give you a test run with the uh, Atwood hydrofoil on just to show you what it does and I'm going to take it off and we're going to install the Stingray Okay. Um, when I got the stabilizer on the motor did it work? Absolutely it worked but at the time I wasn't aware that there was a better hydrofoil out there okay so again I'm doing a lot of research and that's the reason we're doing the videos um, I want people to know the truth okay just apples for apples you know, what is the best solution for you to get your boat up on plane, to get out of the blocks faster, to get better gas mileage. And especially today, um, that is critical with the price of gas as high as it is. Pull on the boat here. And away we go.
here. Plus everything up there. Here we go. Keep lifting it up now. Gonna change position of something on that button motor. Need to take it out. Hey Kelly, part of our Pinswood project team. And let me bring the camera closer here. Okay, okay here's what we've done. We've applied the uh, um, hydrofoil, the junior from Marine Dynamics. The Stingray Junior um, will fit in motors, I believe, um, 40 horsepower and lower. And what's nice about it is it's one continuous blade the whole way across. Underneath, we have two set screws where you can actually loosen these and make your hydrofoil wider depending upon the size of your um, cavitation plate on the bottom. Um, it mounts with four, four bolts. Very easy, it took about 10 minutes to put this on. The hardest part is getting your holes lined up on your cavitation plate. Um, that's the hardest part. But if you're careful, take your time. Uh, it's quite what we easy. we have also is we just installed, we took off, we had an old, the last run you just saw, we had a uh, Atwood hydrofoil on, which basically is nothing more than a piece of flat plastic. As you can see, the Stingray, it has a curvature to it, and it's aerodynamic in the sense that when the water comes across the hydrofoil, water is being shot downward, which is forcing the transom up, and which puts the boat up on plane. Now the problem is, with this John boat, I got a 15 horsepower Mercury. I, I, it will actually help it a lot, but I'm not sure if it'll get it up on plane. Only reason I say that is because I got three three batteries in here, a lot of weight in the boat, and there's just not enough horsepower here. But I tell you what, if the hydrofoil even gets this boat close to plane, I'll be very very happy.